These two teens are behind bars tonight. One is accused of shooting and killing a third teen. The other is accused of lying about it. Police say the teens took turns shooting each other while wearing body armor. Fox 35's Connor Hansen spoke to a neighbor who actually woke up after hearing those gunshots. Right, Connor? A police report saying the teens were trading off shooting each other while wearing an armored vest. The report makes it sound like they were playing some kind of game, but the final shots were fatal. Police say it all happened at one of these mobile homes here behind me where the teens were hanging out. Joshua Vining, just 17 years old, has now been charged as an adult with aggravated manslaughter of a child. And Colton Whitler, also 17, has been charged with misleading police, allegedly telling them someone else was responsible for shooting 16-year-old Christopher Brode. Police say this all happened Sunday with the original 911 call from Whitler claiming someone else had shot up the home. Officers found Vining doing CPR on Brode, who had a gunshot wound to the chest. The report says five spent 9 millimeter casings were found on the floor. Christopher Brode later died in the hospital. Police say two others were there when the shooting happened and told them Brode shot Vining in the chest first before they switched places. Investigators say they found a video showing Vining shooting Brode once, then several more times. We spoke with a next door neighbor who knows Vining. He tells us he thinks this might have just been a tragic accident. Tragic accident with teenagers. You know, you get four or five teenagers together, and I don't know the circumstances, but they were playing around, and it was just a tragic accident. I hope, you know, I think that's what it was. According to the report, Joshua Vining told police that gun belonged to his father, and it was left there for protection. In Bellevue, Connor Hansen, Fox 35 News.